Okay, um, we're gonna get to the topic now. Okay, so in pair, this is atmos and imperative um, that you should know. God needs to be worshipped. God needs to be recognized that he is the creator. And God has the habit of changing his mind through prayers. So if you are consistent and you know how to, you can wrestle with him and change his mind. Because keep in mind, you don't want to do it yourself. You don't want to maneuver your life because you're going to go through stumble and, uh, you know, uh, bumps and bumps of life that you don't want. You'd rather let God, you know, maneuver your life. That way it's of his will. You don't want anything, not, nothing that is not of his will, right? That's the key. So when you recognize that, you will have to tell him that whatever is your will shall be done, God. You have to say that. And then you have to thank him, God. Thank you. Thank you for everything because I don't deserve this. I tell God every day. I don't deserve anything, but he's been good to me. I am such a sinner. I don't even know what I did, but he's been good to me. And it's something that you need to start your prayer with is by thanking him so that he can bless you because thanking him is something that, you know, he has blessed you already. And this is, everybody has used this technique and, you know, even the prosperity gospel or everything. And even, you know, um, in the aspect of psychology, I'm going to actually do a video after this about psychology because they have used this technique, which is in the Bible that, you know, that battle, you know, the mind feel, that battle between the mind because, you know, in psychology is the mind. That's why I really don't believe in that unless you're really, really, needed it clinically right therapists right take us because they know how to maneuver and they use that and it's not biblical so for me i don't unless again you are um naturally how do you call this a uh, clinically bad then you need to otherwise uh, watch a video that i said it's the unfor uh, forgotten medicine because when you sin that's the cause of depression and all that, anxiety and all that. Why? Because you are breaking the nature of God's law. You're not praying, you're not doing your usual, or you're not doing it the proper way, and you're insisting.